Well, good morning, my friends. I am coming to you from Dayton, Tennessee, as I travel north to Kentucky, Ohio, to see the total eclipse, and then to New Jersey. And um, with Robert Henderson's 365 prayers and activations for entering the courts of heaven today again, and today is um, April the 6th, 2024. Oops, my page moved on me. There we go. So the title that Robert has today is uh, Removing the Rights of Disobedience to God's Voice. Hmm. So the scripture that he quotes today in full here, and I believe it's the only scripture. Oh, no, he quotes another one. But the only one he quotes in full today is from Genesis 3 and 17. It says, then to Adam, he said, because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree, which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat of it. Sorry for the background noise. You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Ooh, yeah, so this all started back in the garden. This is what Robert has to say today. Adam listened to Eve's voice rather than the voice of God. This produced a disobedience that caused a curse. Anytime we allow another voice to outrank the voice of God in our life, we grant a legal right for a curse to land or a light. And that is referenced in Proverbs 26 and two. The intimidation of someone else's voice can produce disobedience in us. Whether it's because we fear that person, believe that person more than God's voice, or simply desire to please that person our willingness to disobey the voice of God can open the door to a curse. Notice that the curse that came on Adam was a diminished return for his labors. Many are laboring, it would seem, under this curse. They work diligently, but never seem to receive full return for their labors. They live a in a perpetual need of and lack and insufficiently insufficiency and a sense of never being able to come into the abundance promised in the word of God. It could be because the devil is claiming a legal right based on our disobedience to God's voice and preference for obeying someone else's voice. We must repent for any place but someone in our bloodline, or we, have done this. When we do, we grant God the legal right to revoke and silence the devil and his accusations against us. We are freed to see a full return from our labors and our efforts. That's good news. I call it good news. So, this is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as I come to stand before your courts, I repent for any and every place I or those in my bloodline have transgressed against your voice and not obeyed you. I ask that any place I have chosen to obey another's voice in the place of yours, that I would be forgiven. I repent for this rebellion and sin. Lord, allow your blood to speak for me. Forgive me and justify me before your courts. Let the curse of diminished returns be lifted off me and let me prosper and succeed as you have purposed and promised. In Jesus' name, amen. So, my prayer today, wherever you are, whenever you see this, is this. Lord Jesus, I lift up every single person, I include myself in that, God, to walk into obedience, God, into what you have called for me in my life in this time, God. Today, tomorrow, the future, God. Um, thank you for walking alongside of me, God, that um, by reading your word and being with you in covenant relationship and in relationship, that I know the difference between your voice and the devil's voice, God. 
uh, help me to just heed your voice over any other voice that may come upon me today, God. And bless you, God. Show me ways to bless you in this day, God, as I travel up the highway, as I travel up to see my brother in Kentucky, God, and uh, anybody I meet along the way at the gas stations, at any landmarks we stop at to take pictures, and, um, uh, restaurants, anything, God. I pray that you show me how to bless people that would bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, be blessed today in your travels and journeys, wherever they take you, even if they're right at home in your own living room, right? And keep that smile on your face because it's hard to not be forgiving with a smile on your face. It's hard to think and say terrible things, right? Out of your mouth, curses out of your mouth if you're smiling from your heart. So smile from your heart today. I love you, but he loves you so much more.